The curtain rises once more then on the desert stage of Sakir as the players take their places for the opening act. Will they enthrall us like they did in 2014 with that titanic battle between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton? Well, we'll find out shortly as we get underway here in Bahrain. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and two DRS zones will help with that as well. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. As the drivers complete their preparations down below us on the grid, one man who's no stranger to the pre-race pressure is Anthony Davidson, who joins me in the commentary box today. Great to have you with us, Ant. I'm sure you can tell us all about what goes through a driver's head before lights out. But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you, so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. OK, so you're lower on the grid than we wanted. Let's make the start count. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. It was a good showing from Red Bull in qualifying, and Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position. And Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Kevin Magnussen, and Grosjean, Rosberg, Bottas, Sainz, and a Renault, Hamilton, Gutierrez, Sergio Perez, and Massa, Kvyat, Harry Anto, Nico Hülkenberg, and Pascal Wehrlein, Button, and Alonso, Marcus Ericsson, and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs.
Police officials have enabled DRS. DRS is now available. Some information on Vettel. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. We're seeing minor damage to the front wing. Be easy on the car. Okay, two stops left now. Two stops. Some information on Hulkenberg. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. VSC deployed. The virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down. Maintain a positive delta. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Car ahead is coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires.
any rain, but if a storm front does appear, then we'll let you know. Considering switching to an alternate strategy, do you want to change or stick to plan A? The track is clear. Green flag. Exit now. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. Right, some information on Hamilton. They've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring.
Right, come in at the end of this lap. Your pit window is now open. currently in P9. The gap to teammate is 6.7 seconds. They're on old softs. The time last lap was a 1 minute 38.1. has newer tires than you, maintain our gap if possible. So, the gap to our teammate is 6.2 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. job, you did really well. Super driving. So, another fantastic victory for Red Bull today. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? 
It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. And I can see now the drivers are making their way out. We need Red Bull fighting at the front. They do an incredible amount for Formula One. And that's another winner's trophy heading back to Milton Keynes. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. Well, the lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Well, I think it has to be Fernando Alonso. He got the strategy spot on and consistently had the pace to come through as well. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull have extended their lead over the championship. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson. Who would you go for? Fernando Alonso. Wherever he is, whatever team he's in, when is he not just brilliant? He'll give you a performance every time, just like he's done today. On to the constructors then. Red Bull have extended their lead over the championship. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.